Okay. Hello, my relatives and my friends. This is my science theory challenge, and I'm addressing the Native American community who is going to heal our Earth. And uh, this is on my science theory challenge site, and they talked about from the grandfathers we call the stone people to human physiology that we have presently incarnated into, and that is a fact. And mud fossil research has validated this and absolutely proven that mud fossil giants are truly a reality, <laughs> and much more than anybody ever suspected. Now, in addition to that, we're destroying the earth, and I'm going to see if we can do something together, and I'm going to do anything I can to help you. So let's move through this thing, and, and uh, I want you to get involved, please. All right, thank you. All right, I want to say a very special thanks to uh, Mike Carney, and I was very, very thankful that he reached out to me about the research I've been doing, and I've been posting and really shaking things up as best I can, but very few people are listening. Now, Mike contacted me, and thank God he did, and you people are the ones that are going to fix this. We're going to fix it together. I'm going to help you. I'll do what I can. I'm not, I can't do much, but I, I, I will do what I can. Now, I'm going to show you the research that I have and, and do whatever I can to help you and assist. I, I'm very limited. I don't have, I, I can't really travel out there or anything, but I can do what I can. Anyway, these are the things he's asked to do, and, um, and I'm 100% willing. And um, he's going to have a couple of uh, science youth fairs and, and expos in, in the spring and in New Mexico and out in uh, Minnesota. Uh, I guess it's Minnesota, yeah. Now, he's, um, these are his goals, and, and they're, they're the goals that we all want. You know, there's 12 reflections of Mother Earth, and what is it? It's traditional plants of purification, back to the Earth, which is the way it's designed to work. It's not designed to be pumped full of the things that we do. Now. Uh, and you, you guys are going to know this, and your, your elders knew this, how to protect the water. I know you're standing out there trying to keep these people from putting these things through your land. I understand that. I, I stand with you. They, they're they're going to fight this tooth and nail. I mean, it's just, it's, it's, a, it's a dollar and cents thing. You have to go appeal to the reality of them that we have to change our ways. I don't know how you're ever going to beat them on that thing out there, that pipe. I just, I, I, hope, I pray for you people. I pray for you. Now, the earth protectors, traditional medicines, we got to get away from feeding the animals and feeding ourselves crazy things. You know, there's her healthy ways, and, and, and again, your elders knew all of these things. They knew the, what to eat on the earth, they knew how to walk and how to exercise, and, you know, you just have to pay attention to them. Trust me, those, those, those are the people that you want to listen to, and I hope you do. All right. That's all I have to say on that subject. Okay, my Native American friends are going to try to fix what, uh, what we apparently broke. Now, there's a lot of, lot of things to look at here. Um, there's damage to the earth, and it's, it's hard to, to deny this. That needs to be looked at. This is, is, is the way the rivers now are, are bleeding, and these are happening primarily in the... Uh, frozen areas that are thawing out and um, it's just a fact that it, that it is happening and needs uh, the, and there's the rivers that are causing just like this um, and they're not just happening here and there it, it's happening substantially a lot now now this is what's going on is fracking it's uh, uh, it's just everywhere, and the the earth is literally alive. It's alive, and the, the the elders of your people knew this, and I know this, and it's a fact, and I have the absolute facts to prove this. And we have to take it. You know, we all live on the same planet. I'm not trying to hurt anybody. I know it's very, very. Um, it, it, it affects everybody. It affects everybody, but it affects everybody anyway. So whether you own a piece of the oil industry, or you're a driller, or you're a, 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 a gas pump guy, I mean, whatever you got, you're affected. But I live on this planet. My kids live on this planet. You live on this planet. This is not something we can uh, no, uh, avoid. And there are alternatives. And I've been pushing my alternative, which is, uh, you know, I don't want anything. I'm not looking to make any money. I want to save the planet. But nobody will even look at it for free. 
and I'll show you what it is, and I think it has some potential. We need to get this in front of, and, and I have been approached by a lot of people that have a lot of different things that need to be looked at, because they are possible salvation to the situation we're in. And I don't care if you're making billions of dollars, where are you going to spend it? You're not going to spend it while you're on fire. All right, you should watch this video. This is, I'm calling this a solar collector efficiency challenge. And it's open to anybody, but I just don't want anybody making profit on it. Now, this is a laser being shot from this direction. It's a simple construction laser, nothing to very cheap, inexpensive. And it's being shot at two construction nails. This is, I, I think they're very small nails. Uh, Rodney Warren did this in Australia. This is the test he was doing. And he shot this laser at this and these two round nails created a venturi. And a venturi is those two rounded areas and when it hits there it has to compact itself into a, a, a acceleration. There is no option. And these are the kind of things that I'm going to teach you guys. You can do this at home and a lot of you probably have the, the equipment right in your own house to do it. No. So he shoots it here. Look at what happens. That bends and gets sucked into that venturi. Now what happens then? It turns bright white. Why is that? Because it's accelerated. Why is it accelerated? Because it's forced together and turned into a faster accelerated light. So it's not doing 186,000 miles a second here. It's doing 200,000, 300,000. I don't know what it's doing. But when it comes out of here, it's coming out of here in an extremely high energy spray. Now that energy spray, and that is literally a distance of inches, because this is taken in midair with a cell phone. Literally, that's just taken with a cell phone in midair in a mist with a laser shot into a venturi. It just, it's a ch -ch 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 -ch, that's it. Now, so this vent, this spray, if there was a solar collector laying here, and that spray hit that solar collector panel, that is an increased voltage, really. This is coming in here sort of lazy. Hey, what's going on? All of a sudden, it hits that, and whoa, phew, gone. And it's going to hit that solar panel and drive those electrons faster. That is what I'm expecting. That is what I'd like to have somebody look at. And I, I and here's, we did a lot of, right. you look at that. See that? We could take pictures of, um, hold on, the, the guy that I took that, I don't want to show you that picture, that was a mistake. But that, that um, we have pictures of all kinds of electrons and this and that and how they spin into the, uh, the light spins. Rodney did all kinds of research. See, here's that electron. Now that's in green. Uh, but we have them in red and green. And here they are trailing off of that Venturi. You guys are going to have a blast doing this science. And you're going to learn so much and you're going to save the Earth. Now, here's what I'm saying. It's like crazy. Oh, uh -huh. but This is, um, how do I turn that on? All right. Now, this is the light coming in here. It hits the two construction things. And when it does, it has to accelerate. A light is, is, is literally a fluid. It really is literally a fluid. And so it's coming in. Now, if you use these waveguides, I think we can capture it all. So it'll snake in through here. You have to make sure these distances are just the right frequency for the, for the light that you're using. And it will accelerate. Here's your solar panel here. And then the collector runs off here. And you've got an accelerated solar panel. And I couldn't find anybody to pay any attention to this. So maybe you guys can do this. This is cheap stuff to do. This is nothing here. It's very, very simple, and we could either prove it or disprove it. Uh, you know, I got so much going on, I can't do any more of this, but nobody really cares about this. Look, this goes back to, uh, well, this is August, so that's only about six, four or five months ago. There's only 400 views, and it's for free, and I'm asking people to look into this, and they're not interested. So you, please be the ones that become interested. You will be looked at as, as saviors. Because trust me, you're the ones that are going to have to do it. As far as I can see. All right, my Native American friends are going to look at this too. We're putting so much into our our food supply that is foreign to our food supply, and it, we eat that. We're eating that. I mean, who doesn't understand this? Now. We need to do some studies. We need to go to that water and look what's what's in that water. Why is it turning red? I believe there's literal blood in that water. Actual, literal, 
hemoglobin blood and with DNA that can be tested. Now, what's in our, 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 our raw foods? Look at the, I mean, it's serious. It's antibiotics, it's hormones, it's, it's DNA that is even supposed to be there. We need to see what this is causing, and this is just not right. There's better ways. And, the, the, you know, if the American Indians had been in control, if we'd have just come and said, okay, let's just live here and we'll be buddies, and you had listened to your elders and you weren't destroyed and driven away from them. And that's what happened. You got driven away from them. They didn't get you. They didn't abandon their faith. They didn't abandon the truth and, and, the, and the, the love of the earth. They were driven from it. And you were driven away from them. So let's just pay attention to your elders. Trust me. They are the people that are the chance for this earth. And I'm going to tell you another thing that I honestly believe is that you are the people that will inherit this earth. So you need to fix it. If you want to get a house that works, you got to fix it. So let's work together. There's chemistry here that can't be denied. We need to put this in front of the people that live on the same planet that we live on. They have to understand this. They, you know, it's, it's fine for them to just run off into their gated communities and, and let crime happen in another neighborhood, but when they can't drink the water, they can't breathe the air, when this fire is burning their house down and the earth is shaking and their water turns to blood, then I think you might have a chance of talking to somebody. So let's put this in front of them, and you guys are the ones that can do this. And I know you can do this because you have the love of the earth built into your genes, and we don't. I'm an American citizen. I was born here from people that came here and have no roots here. You guys are different. You guys are rooted here. You own this property. And I want you to take over on this stuff. And I'd like you to take over on the mud fossils that I have because I have done all that research and found your ancestors. They're not mine. They're yours. And I will present you with that video shortly. It's about Hokamuk. And he was the giant that lived here in Connecticut. And it's totally documented, well, that was documented, but it's totally passed down in your oral tradition and history of the Native Americans here. They told the first people that came here all about him. How big he was, what he did, and how he beat up the people. He wasn't a nice guy. So that's just the way it is. Some of these giants weren't very good. and I, I, Actually, they weren't very good, 99% of them, as far as I can tell from the research I've done. But they were, they, you know, they had to eat, they had to do whatever they needed to do. I can't pass judgment on anybody, but let me put it this way. I, you would want to get away from them if you could, is from my, the way I'd see things. But that's another story. We need to get the earth straightened out. And the, the earth is these giants. I can show you. I can prove these things to you. So let's, let's try to fix things. And I know you guys are going to jump on this. And I know you're seeing the problems that I see. And you, I know you want your future. And I know you want kids, and I know you want a healthy existence. And you can do this, and this is going to create jobs for you, and this is going to put you on a pedestal, and you are going to be the chosen one of God, because I'm telling you something right now. The people that should be doing this are not doing their job. And I don't care if we don't like it, God is not going to like it. And I'm telling you right now, he says he's coming to destroy the ones that destroyed the earth. And that is what's going to happen, and I'm not going to be on that list, and you're not either. So let's fix it. Thank you. I, 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 I want this more than anything, my friends. I have kids. All right, here, and, and I, I, I feel terrible to say this, but look, I have 757 views. And I had this up for over a year. It was been 20, August of 2015, August 2016, and now we're into 2017. I have 757 views, and this shows that the Earth is is literally in deep trouble. And if you look at it, it's it's um, the Earth is collapsing. This is not this is Come nothing on. to laugh at. It's just terrible. It's terrible. terrible. I, and, and nobody will look at look at this. You people are the ones that have to do something, and you will. I know you will because I can feel that this is the way to go. You have a community. You have. You have roots, you understand. And, and, and please, activate yourself. Talk to your friends. Let them know what we're up against. You know, we want to save the land. We want to save your way of life. We want to save our, our, our own way of life. We want to save our houses and our kids. And this is up to 
you now. I mean, literally, I, I'm sorry. It's just, it's falling on you. I can't do any more than I can. I just can't do anything. I just, all I can do is help you, and I will do what I can. All right? We're going to make this happen. This desperately needs looking into. These are the bees. are dying everywhere. And what's causing this? Is it the pesticides? Is it the GMOs? Is it the air? Is it the water? Is it the... What is going on? These are the things, I know there's people studying this, but, but you are the people that should be studying this because you know the land, you know, you understand these things better than anyone. And you, you listen to your elders, and I, I pray to God that there's still some of them around that have this knowledge and are willing to put it back out there because I know they took it back when, when the young Indians turned against their elders. And they turned against them because they were told to turn against them. Turn back to these people. They are the ones that are going to help us to save this earth because they're the only ones that know how to do it. I'm going to tell you that right now. The people that are in charge of our science right now have, have failed us and they, they have chased the dollar because that's they have to make a living. That's what they've been told. This is the way to do it. Figure out how to exploit the earth. It's not the way. It's not the way. And you will find the way. I know you'll find the way because you are the people that can find the way. All right? So work with me. I'll work with you. Work with everybody in your neighborhood. Work with the, the, the local people. that you, you have to get involved in a system. You can't just know these things because that's my problem. I understand this. I know the chemistry. I've, I, I, I've found all the problems. Well, not all the problems because there's, there's just so many problems. Nobody could find them. But, I mean, there's so many problems i found that can't be denied. They're unimpeachable, factual, evidential, supported, physical evidence. And it's just being ignored because of the consequences. And they don't understand the consequences. The consequences are we're not going to have a planet. I cannot believe that nobody understands this. I'm sorry, I cannot hold myself in. You're the only solution that we have, my friends. Trust me, that I have been the blind eye has been turned against me and a deaf ear. Don't let that happen to you. All right, please. All right, I'm sorry for my outburst. I just I, I can't contain myself. I really can't. I should. I need to take a vacation, really, to be honest with you. But I can't. I just. It's what it is. What it is. Alright, I'm going to teach you chemistry, and chemistry is simple, and it's fun. You're going to love this subject. Now, what I want you to do is go to Mud Fossil University on, it's the channel on YouTube, and I want you to look as much as you can on at the, at the things I have there. But this is important. It's called Mud Fossil Chemistry Explained, dot, dot, DNA proves giant humans. This proves the things that your elders were saying. And it's a factual, it's not, no absolute zero question about this. They're DNA proven, three tests, one of them was 200 feet tall. They're littered everywhere. And I could show you how to find them. In 15 minutes, you're going to find as many as you can carry. So there's, there's veins and arteries in all of these. That rocket right there has veins and arteries in it. That's been DNA tested. The CAT scan, there were all that stuff. With three DNA tests, all of them 100% human DNA, two of them were giants and one of them was a normal size. That's all there is to it. It's, and seven CAT scans, chemistry's done in the lab. I'm going to teach you guys how to do this and how to understand this. And it's simple and you're going to like it and you're going to be proud of yourself. And you should be proud of yourself because you're the ones that are going to fix our problems. And we are going to be very appreciative. All right, Just, You're going to be able to do this. I know you will. Alright, this is on my old channel, Mud Fossils, and it's called Electro Mud Fossilization. Now, I made that in the lab with chicken tissue, and you can do this in your own backyard. Take a 12 volt battery, put a couple of electrodes into a piece of chicken, and put it inside of some um, matter, some, and I use all kinds of different things. But what it does is it, uh, it actually you see this? This is one that I, you know, uh, that's part of the same chicken. But what happens is it drives the, um, see that? That's selenite. And that's from the same chicken. And that's the tendon. And what happens is when you put it in this solution, it literally plates with, just like plating a cheap 
cheap rain. And what it also does is that the electron flow causes these transition metals to bond with their, uh, with their appropriate partners. And I'm going to teach you all of this stuff. It's simple. That, now, that is a mud fossil. That's an actual mud fossil. See it right there? See, that's how they strap, that's how they, that's the keratins that are in the fibers of the guy's finger. So, I'm going to teach you all this stuff, and you're going to like it. It's fun. It really is. When you get into this, you're going to enjoy this. And, and, and it's something to really, your, your life will, will change overnight when you start to understand this stuff. And everything you look at will have a whole new meaning. All right? And it's, it'll be exciting. All right, this is a pretty good one. This is on my old channel, too. Ancient Earth reveals its cellular structure. Now, look at the Earth that you're walking on. I know you guys understand this, a lot of you already, but the ones that don't, talk to your elders. These are the people that can guide you on this because they understand the Earth is a living creature, and it's absolutely 100% living. And I have another one. It's called, um, well, hold on, I'll show you. All right, this is Mud Fossil University on uh, YouTube channel, and there is no subject untouched here. We want to save the earth, we want to talk about the Creator, we want to talk about Jesus, we want to talk about God, we want to talk about the blue people, we want to talk about the ant people, we want to talk about what the earth is really, really, really like, we want to talk about the the, 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 the ancient ones, and we want to talk about the myths. We'll talk about everything, and there's no judgment, and there's no consequences, and there's no charge. Come up here, learn the reality, save the planet, please. Thank you. All right, this is where I highlight all of the issues that I have are challenge science, and I and and there is so much to challenge, and you will challenge them, and you will win. Trust me, there is a ton of things that are wrong, starting from they don't understand matter. Your people understood it. It's a life. It's live. It's every molecule was alive. And I have the facts to prove that, and you will soon. Now, the first thing I want you to do, as soon as you get home, get in front of your computer, or however you can do this, at your friend's house or whatever, and get on here and join up with Mud Fossils, a new science. Come in here, listen, find out reality. I'm showing you the truth about the life that you live in, about the history and about the physics and the science. And it's so misunderstood, you'll just never be able to imagine how wrong it is. And you will be the ones that will speak reality, and you'll be the ones that fix the earth. And you'll be the ones that scold the ones that didn't fix the earth. And believe me, they're going to get some scolding, and it won't be from us. It'll be from the Creator who created this earth to be cherished and to be honored and to be loved. And it has not been those things recently. I'm sorry, I'm not going to get crazy again. We can fix it. You're going to do it.